Kieran Amagaji is the craziest draft prospect in 2024. Every single year, there is seemingly an FCS player who comes out of absolute nowhere, ends up going in the first or second round, and has an impact at the next level. It's also usually on the offensive line for some reason. Two years ago, we saw Trevor Penning from Northern Iowa, last year we saw Cody Mock, and this year we see it from Kieran. He is currently one of the best prospects for the 2024 NFL Draft, resides on the offensive line, comes from the FCS, and has a ridiculous story. At one point, he wanted to be an investment banker. Just a few months ago, he was a summer intern, and now he's one of the top prospects in this year's draft. Today, I'm going to be joined by my buddy Andrew from Saturday Shenanigans, as we're going to talk about the most ridiculous prospect in the 2024 NFL Draft. We're going to go through his insane story, talk about how he got to this point, and what his impact could be at the next level. But before we get started, if you're a big college football fan, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you want to support today's video, and let me know what player, team, topic, or situation I could cover next. Now let's get started and talk about the insane rise of Kieran Amagaji. In order to understand how Kieran got to this point, we first need to go back in time. His journey has been filled with a ton of hurdles, but right now he's considered to be a top 100 draft pick and also graduated from an Ivy League institution. Many describe him as the most interesting prospect in this year's draft, and his story is truly unbelievable. Despite his parents' emphasis on education over sports, Kieran loved football from a young age, and it honestly never wavered. He was born of two African parents, and eventually found his way onto the football field after initially going to play basketball. He had perfect size and measurables to play basketball, but ultimately, he wanted to play football. He grew up just outside of Chicago, and for as long as he could remember, he enjoyed watching the NFL and dreamed of one day playing at the highest level. But his parents were very unfamiliar with the sport of football and actually stressed education. Kieran had a plan though, he was going to do both. Summertime is when most kids play organized sports and get specialized training, but instead, him and his twin sister would go back to Africa. This was to be able to see his family, and in middle school, hoops became his main sport. However though, in 8th grade, he finally decided to put on the pads and join the football team. It didn't end up going as planned though. He apparently had quote, a bad experience with a football coach, and it quote, really deterred me from playing football. Instead chose to remain focused on basketball, and eventually enrolled at Hinsdale Central High School, which is located in Illinois, and did not play football as a freshman. But at the urging of his friends, he gave football one more chance as a sophomore, and this started him down his improbable path to this year's draft. As a junior, he became Hinsdale's starting left tackle, and over his final two years, he helped his team have a 16-5 record and two playoff appearances. College coaches started to take notice, and during his junior year, scholarship offers started to follow suit. He started to get notice from schools such as Yale, Columbia, Penn, Fordham, Southern Illinois, Indiana State, and Illinois State. Those were all at the FCS level, but schools such as Minnesota, Northwestern, and Kansas State also wanted him but had yet to pull the trigger with an offer. What was Kieran looking for in a school? Well, he said, quote, I'm looking for a program that's going to allow me to flourish in my academic and athletic life equally. Some place that allow me to shape my future for the better and truly set me up for a great life after college, whether that's the NFL or another future career. In total, Kieran finished with 22 total offers. However, only one FBS program offered, and that was Central Michigan. Northwestern almost offered, but it didn't end up happening. Rather than waiting on bigger schools to discover him, he ended up falling in love with Yale and committed to the Bulldogs before his senior year of high school. He said, quote, I'm super competitive and I feel like I was under-recruited, but it all worked out like it was supposed to. If I could go back and attend any school in the country, I would still pick Yale. Kieran said he knew he wanted to commit to Yale after his first visit in 2019, and his mother recommended he continued visits and weighed all his options, but he made the decision on the spot and went with his gut. He was full of optimism after signing with Yale, and despite getting a late start as a football player, his goal of playing the game at the highest level was on track. His high school coach said, quote, When I talk to the Yale coaches, they talk very highly about his work and what he's contributed. I think the sky is the limit in terms of what he can be, and he's just an all-around quality kid whose character and integrity makes him such a good football player. He did have potential, but was not highly ranked. According to 24-7 Sports, Kieran was a two-star recruit and the number 284 offensive tackle in the class of 2020. How would he end up doing at Yale? Well, at first there was a lot of setbacks, and Andrew from Saturday Shenanigans is going to talk all about him, his college career, why scouts love him, and the next steps in his crazy journey. When Kieran Amagaji arrived on campus during the August of 2020, things were anything but normal for the Yale football program. The Ivy League had officially canceled all fall and winter sports for that season. 
Kieran of course worked on his game in his free time, knowing his opportunity to shine would come sooner than later, but he was also focusing on things besides football, such as a rigorous academic load at one of the most prestigious institutions in the country. He was pursuing a BA in economics, and that was most likely going to be his future as football was just a passion he enjoyed on the side. At that time, Kieran saw himself becoming an investment banker after graduation. In 2021, it was time to put down the books and get back to the football field. Kieran was called upon by coach Tony Reno to start at right guard for the Bulldogs, and he was up for the challenge. Kieran started in all 10 games that year, a total of 669 snaps, only allowing one sack on the entire season. He did an excellent job at protecting quarterback Nolan Grooms, and he also shined in run blocking. This performance earned him an all Ivy League honorable mention and the Charles Loftus Award given annually to the most valuable Bulldog freshman. Even after the early success, Kieran was still planning for a career in the corporate world as this is the reality for most athletes in the Ivy League. In the summer of 2022, he got an internship with the Yale program on financial stability. During this time, he gained valuable experience uploading data, creating interview profiles, and writing a case study on the Federal Reserve League of 2012. Life was great for Kieran, but little did he know that his performance in the following year on the football field would cause him to have to change his career plans. In 2022, Coach Reno decided that Kieran's skill set would be best utilized for left tackle instead of right guard. If you're unfamiliar with the offensive line positions, left tackle stands above the rest as the most crucial. This is because they protect the blind side of course quarterbacks from defense's most talented pass rushers. According to NFL coaches and scouts, the left tackle is widely considered the second most important offensive position. For the second consecutive year, he played in all 10 games, and do you want to know how many sacks he allowed? Zero. Not one. This really allowed the Yale offense to flourish with dual threat QB Nolan Grooms, as they led the Ivy League in rushing and total offense. The Bulldogs win 8-2 on the year, a three-win improvement from the season prior, and in 2022, Kieran was named to the All-Ivy League first team. The summer of 2023 is where Kieran started to take things to the next level. He decided to withdraw from an internship opportunity he had been accepted to months before and put his full focus into football, as there was much promise behind his game. Kieran spent extensive time this offseason working with former four-time Pro Bowl offensive tackle Willie Anderson. When asked about it, he said, quote, over the summer, we did a lot of technique work and movement and agility, working on my feet, mirroring them with my hands, especially in pass protection. Kieran was finally getting the recognition that he worked so hard for. Going into the 2023 season, he was named a preseason All-American and was on the Reese's Senior Bowl watch list. When everything is going right, it's easy to let all the success get to your head and change you, as we've seen with so many athletes before. Kieran was poised to stay focused, though. He said this about the preseason hype. Quote, I think some people get lost in preseason honors and think it means they've done something, and that wasn't my mentality going into this year. I had a lot to live to prove myself, and I still think I have a long way to go to reach my full potential. Unfortunately, the 2023 season didn't go as planned. After only appearing in four starts, Kieran was sidelined for the rest of the season after a quad injury that required surgery. Fortunately, the NFL was calling his name, and he was a sought-after lineman prospect for the 2024 draft. This seemed improbable to Kieran when he arrived on campus in 2020, but it really was true. On November 20th of 2023, he made the crazy dream official. The LinkedIn guy, Kieran Amagaji, declared for the NFL draft. Even with the limited amount of game film compared to other prospects, the sheer dominance by Kieran was so undeniable that he was ranked the 62nd overall best player in the 2024 draft class according to Pro Football Focus. His strengths include his elite first step and mobility, paired with his massive 6'5", 323 frame. As for things he can improve on going forward to compete with the highest level talent in the NFL, he needs to work on his hand usage and efficiency, also the anticipation in the second level of run blocking. According to NFLDraftBuzz.com, quote, Despite the hurdles of transitioning from FCS competition and recovering from a significant injury, Amahaji's physical tools and on-field performance suggest a ceiling that's hard to ignore. From aspiring investment banker, to summer intern, to high-profile draft prospect, the story of Kieran Amahaji seems almost unreal. As always, Scott, thanks so much for having me on. Once again, I appreciate having Andrew on the channel. We've already done videos on both Brendan Rice and Xavier Worthy, so be sure to check those out as I'll leave them in the comments section below. Kieran has an unbelievable story. He almost didn't play football, went to a school not known for producing big time talent, was a two star player, and at one point was an intern who wanted to do investment banking. Now he has the potential to be a first or second round pick in this year's draft, and his whole life is definitely going to change. He dreamed it up and made it happen. His story is unbelievable, and I wish him nothing but success. But what do you guys think? 
what do you think of Kieran Amagaji, who is another prospect I should cover in my next video. And also be sure to let me know what topic I should do next. Leave a like if you want to support today's video, subscribe if you're new, and check out my video about Jerry Rice's son, Brendan, and his story to the NFL. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.